Hey guys and gals, it's Hex here on... <clears throat> Try it again. Hey guys and gals, welcome back to the Blockhead server. With me, your friendly Hex. Today what I wanted to do was start things out by uh, working on some of our tools. So we have some tools. Last episode I died pretty badly to a creeper and uh, I had logged out and stuff and then I died and I lost all my stuff because I wasn't at my computer to like re-log in and get the stuff. Anyway, um, I lost all my stuff and I had to rebuild. But we are now in 1.16 and Etzmine has netherite gear. I think Waffle Stick has netherite gear. But Hex Regulus is still wearing the 1.15 blues. So I've got the blues and so that means we need to go looking for some netherite. The other thing I wanted to do was I need to get some mending on some of these items. Like I don't have mending on, on this or that or um, this is actually a backup pick that I don't want to be necessarily using because otherwise I don't have a backup. Um, I don't have enough, uh, I need some more enchants on some of these. So what I wanted to do was go ahead and use Etz Mines um, new fangled, um, actually it's Waffle Sticks um, villager trader thingamabob to get some of those uh, enchants that I'm missing. And also I wanted to use, um, not ender pearls, I want the one that says fish. Do we have that one? Can I get the one that says fish? Wait, is that it? No, that's like this. Um, I wanted to uh, do that, and I also wanted to go ahead and mine the nether for some netherite. I'm hoping we can start a new project today, a hoglin farm, but I'm not 100% sure that we're going to be able to start that. Um, we should be able to at least start it, though, because I'm probably not going to record every moment of me mining for ancient debris, because that'd probably be a really boring episode. Uh, anyway, <laughs> that's kind of what we've got going on right now. Um, also, you can see that I'm doing this sort of thing for, for food right now, and it would be really great if we could get, uh, get some cooked pork chops. That'd be pretty cool too, huh? Well, a couple cool things about the nether as I'm beginning my mining here. Uh, I love the new sounds of stuff, like when this quartz breaks. It just sounds really cool. Um, another nice thing about it is you don't really need torches down here. It's pretty bright. Okay, after three failed attempts, I finally made it down to Y12, which is where I think you're supposed to be able to mine for this um, ancient debris stuff effectively. And yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing, honestly. <laughs> no idea. I might be at the wrong level. I should probably look that up real quick. But uh, yeah, for now gonna kind of make a tunnel and head in the direction we just we do have to remember like where that is okay so that's good and then we're just gonna go this way i think for the tunnel all right you guys our very first piece of whatever this is ancient debris ancient debris 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 okay well we found it that's good. All right, let's see. Uh, red shulker box. Yeah, this is what we're looking for, right? Pop that guy down. This is only my like second or third tunnel. Third tunnel. So that's pretty good that I found a piece already. That is very, very nice. And I'm very happy about that. It's good. Okay. Uh, so far, we have not had any major incidences. Ooh, is there more? Is that another piece? I did not know this stuff. Uh, Maybe I should look around a little bit, huh? It's like a couple pieces in this general area. Gotta be real careful with lava in the nether. That's the only thing about mining in the nether. The lava. Okay, well, I have mined out a significant part of the nether. <laughs> and I have gotten 24 pieces of ancient debris. So it's not as bad as I thought it would be. Especially because I really enjoy doing um mining right here okay so right here what we have is some ancient debris so we got that and that's gonna allow me to do six um six tools so i think what i'm gonna do is i'm going to do my helmet make another right helmet a pair of pants and some diamond boots and that's one two three and then my pick 
and then probably like sword and maybe shovel i'm not sure but yeah so that's pretty cool anyway i'm gonna go ahead and go back to my uh castle base thing or our castle base it was supposed to be our castle base but it's pretty much mine because nobody else uses it so i'm gonna go back to the castle and uh get out a smithing table and see what we can turn into netherite tools here. I think that'd be pretty cool. And then we're going to go ahead and mess with a few villagers, get some enchants that we're missing. Um, and then we're going to hopefully at least start working on the hoglin farm, which I'll be excited about. Okay, here we go. We have 24 pieces of netherite scrap. I smelted all of that up. I think if I just go like, let's see, one, two, three, four. All right, and then we go one, two, three, four four like that Ooh, netherite ingots okay there we go so first things first the pick ha look at that that's pretty cool and i like the way it looks it's a little bit more realistic than the bright blue to be honest okay all right what else we got we got leggings we got feet we got helmet none of that stuff is like really good so we're gonna have to enchant it I, i'm pretty sure you can enchant it after making it netherite but i, I don't know that like 100 percent you know um i just need to find a place to set this down because i have a helmet in here all right, that's a good that's a good hexmit there. And then we also I also want to do my mining pick here. This is the pick that I was using earlier. And then anything else that I really want to do. I wish you could like netherite your wings, but that's not going to happen, I guess. Okay, so we're going to do the mining pick next. There we go. Aha. There we go. It's so cool. So cool. My very first netherite tools. We're just going to shove that guy back in here. And then we're going to do the helmet. There we are. One netherite helmet. Okay. Ooh. I'm styling. Look at me. Look at Hex. It's pretty cool. <laughs> that is pretty cool. Okay, what else did I want to do? Oh, yeah. We're, I guess we'll just do the, le the these leggings and like these feet for now. Um, they need to obviously be upgraded. They don't even have mending on them, but they will. So we're just going to do this. Nice. And then I haven't even like renamed them, which is sad. Netherite boots. Heck yeah. Do I have like an extra piece of netherite? What did I not... Huh. I didn't really think that through, did I? Um, let's see. We have the backup pick. I guess I could do the sword. Have a netherite sword. I don't really need that, though. Is there any benefit to doing the axe? I don't know. Can you netherite, uh, can you netherite one of these things? I don't really use this, though. I'm just curious if you can do it, though. No, you can't. You can't netherite the trident, which is weird. Yeah, that's pretty weird. Why can't you netherite a trident? <laughs> oh, well, I guess the sword makes the most sense to me. There we go. One netherite sword. Ha-ha! Ha-ha! <laughs> okay, let's go, uh, let's go enchant some stuff. I gotta, I gotta work with my inventory a little bit. And I'm keeping this gold helmet in here because, because reasons, because of the piglins. So, but I definitely need to, um, yeah, we definitely need to do some stuff here. Wow. I'm like afraid to use the pick, like I'm going to break it. <laughs> so what I need to do is just kind of organize my inventory just a little bit because it's kind of a mess. Right now, um, I did make a couple of shulker boxes. We got a blackstone box. I actually got quite a bit of... Why do I have obsidian in the blackstone box? What kind of devilry is this? <laughs> oh, goodness. Let's see. I don't really need that, though. 
Emeralds, the paper. We need that stuff. All right. Anyway, I'm going to I'm gonna kind of tinker around with some of these different things that we need, and then we're going to um, go head over to the villager breedery thing now. All right. Well, we are here at the perimeter, and yeah. So Waffle Stick has been built, working on this perimeter for a long time. Looks like he's finally finished it as far as like cleaning up the edges. Um, we built that, uh, just to kind of orient you, up here is Etz Mine's little temple thing where we built that scene um, a few episodes ago with the little wizard teaching the little youngsters. And then at, right here, this is the trading hall. I know this doesn't look like a trading hall. It looks more like a train station. <laughs> but this is the trading hall. And so right in here, gosh, this is a lot farther than I thought. Right in here, um, right in here, we have uh, our little villagers, and they hang out in here. And then you can put their workstation like right there in front of them, so that they are able to access it. And then I think if you don't like them, you can hit the button, and then I'm not exactly sure what happens to them. <laughs> But we're probably not going to be doing that because what I'm going to do is I've got a bunch of workstations and we'll just put it in front of them, uh, mainly the uh, lecterns because I just need books is the primary thing that I need. Um, yeah, so in order to fill them, then we have to go back over to this thing, which this thing is some sort of contraption that Etzbein made that basically scares the villagers so that you can then heal them and then you get better trades from them. Now, I'm not exactly sure how it works, and I know that it needs, like, a top on it or something, and I guess Waffle Stick has volunteered to make said top, but he's kind of hasn't been doing it. So, uh, this, just disregard this thing. So, basically, all we have to do is hit this um, note block right here, and then, as you can see, you might not be able to see it. Let's see if I can zoom in. Uh, here comes a villager right there. He's coming up the track. And he's coming over this way, and he's going to go into this deal here. Let's see if we can catch up with him. There we are. And he's going to come, and he's going to drop in right there. And that is pretty magical to get that to happen right. That is not easy. <laughs> it looks like the minecart actually returns. No, it just gets plopped off over here. Uh, that's good to know. That's good to know. So, um, there is a place down there where we can replace the minecarts. But I think we can start with, like, three villagers and kind of work from there. So, what I've done is I've brought a bunch of our stuff here. And we've got uh, a bunch of lecterns. I'm just going to grab three of them. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just place down one. And then, um... Hello? Can we trade with you now? No. Why? Is that a is that a glass block right there? Yeah, that's a glass block. Okay, so I'm gonna have to like somehow get around this lectern. Uh, that's mine. What do I do? What do I do? Well, okay. Uh, Ed Spine actually logged on, like, right after I was having trouble, and came up with a solution. So basically all we're going to do is just put a trapdoor right here, and then when you do the trapdoor, you can get down and see the villager. And so far what I've gotten is I've gotten quite a few mending books. Um, I have 11 of them now, because this guy sells them for 12, and this guy sells them for 16. I actually got this guy first, and then this guy, um, while I was looking for other books, just came about. And this one's 12, actually, so I should probably put a sign on that one. Um, this one here I brought in just so I could get bookshelves because I ran out of books. And so, um, yeah. So this is going pretty well. And I'm just going to keep doing this until I have villagers that I like. Okay, so I've got quite a few villagers going here. We've got a couple mending ones, uh, a Depth Strider, a Silk Touch, a Looting 3, Infinity, Unbreaking 3, Feather Falling 4, Respiration 3, Blast Protection, Efficiency 5, Aqua Affinity, Fortune, Sharpness 5, Flame, um, is that all of them? Absolutely not, but it's a lot of them that I find that I need uh, frequently and that are a little bit harder to get by enchanting using the enchanting table. So that's pretty good. And uh, yeah, they're working really well. That's mine or somebody, probably that's mine, came up with a way to get the, um, the armor, 
the the little bookshelf standy things behind them instead of in front of them. So that's we've been doing that, and that uh, seems to be working a lot better than having them in front and like sneaking underneath, um, which is what I was doing. But anyway, 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 um, another thing that happened is I died again. I needed to get some more emeralds, and what I did is I went over to Etz Mine's um, raid farm, and I must have done something wrong because um, I got killed by a vindicator while I was killing the uh, killing the mobs and stuff in the raid farm, and I died. I got all my stuff back except my helmet, so I don't know what happened to my helmet. I looked in the uh, I looked all around the area. I looked um, in the water below it. I looked. Um, in the hoppers and stuff. I looked in all the chests to see if it fell in there. But yeah, let me let me go show you this raid farm and I'll show you kind of what happened. Okay, well, here's his raid farm, or our raid farm, I guess. And basically what happens is you have to have the um, ominous, the thing that makes the raid start, whatever that's called. The, I can't remember the name of that. Whatever it is. Anyway, um, I was just hanging out right here and then you're supposed to just stand here and kill the... Uh, the mobs and I, I swung my sword once and I got hit back and then I ate some food and then I got hit again somehow while I was standing right here. So I don't, I don't know if I, was, I think I was probably doing something wrong, but uh, anyway, um, I died and then somehow my helmet went missing. Now I thought that it had fallen maybe into one of these hoppers. So I checked out the entire storage system below me. Um, it wasn't in there. I checked all around in these boats. I checked, um, I checked all over the place. I guess these boats are to keep the Vex from getting to you, I think. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so it could have fallen off the edge, but I got everything else back, which is really strange. So I don't know what happened to my stinking helmet, but uh, regardless, my helmet is gone now. And that's very sad, so yeah. But... Uh, I was able to make a new one. I just need to go mine some more netherite to get that done. But I think I'm going to hold off on doing that but until I get um, a little bit farther on the project that I really wanted to do today, which was to get our um, our piglin, hoglin farm. Hoglin. There's so many new names of stuff. I, I was having trouble with the old names. Now I got new names to remember. It's pretty bad. I think I'm just going to start calling things whatever I want. <laughs> just forget trying to remember all the names because I just can't do it. Okay, we're here in the main nether hub, which I still need to finish, by the way. We still need to put the black concrete all the way to the top and finish the ceiling. But Etzmine has dug out a hole all the way through the roof of the nether uh, right above the center here. And what we're going to do is we're going to fly up there. And we're going to figure out where I want to put this um, this hogland farm. Actually, I have actually started the hogland farm a little bit. I built like kind of the first little bit of it. Um, yeah. So first of all, we need to figure out which direction to go because there is a, um, there's a crimson forest this way in the sort of under area. And so I built a tower going up over here somewhere. Let's see if we can find it. Let's just go this direction. Do do do. Do 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 do. Where'd, where'd I put it? I lost my I lost my whole hoglin farm. <laughs> uh, where are you, buddy? <laughs> Let's see. 338, 234. So we gotta go this way, ways. I wrote down some coordinates. There it is. Right there. Okay, cool. So I'm going to come right up to the top of this thing and I'm going to show you what I've done so far. So, so far what I've done is I've made a tower up the center. I'm probably going to remove that most of that tower um, except for this center block because basically what we're going to do is we're going to put some trap doors all the way around this and then in each one of these gaps right here, we're going to put a piece of netherrack and a f warped fungus on it because apparently the little Goombas, the hog guys, they run away from the warped fungus. They don't like them. They're scared by it. They're they just, they don't like it. And then they're going to run into the middle here and they're going to try to get to the center block, but they won't be able to because there will be trap doors and they will fall. And then once they fall, they will go into eventually a lava pool and then they will fall some more. And then I have it set up so that they fall the exact amount so they don't quite die on impact but they will burn to death. And that way, what I can do is if I want to use my looting three sword, which I have right here, as you can see, um, 
and it also has sharpness five on it and i got some great enchants uh i'll be able to kill them with my sword um with the looting three sword if i want to and if i don't want to then i'll just let them burn to death so it, I don't have to move any blocks or anything to convert it from like an XP looting three f uh, farm to a fully auto farm. Um, all I have to do is just either kill them or not. So I think that that's a pretty smart design and I'm going to go ahead and get going on building the rest of this thing. So uh, here we go. Okay, so I have run out of resources already. I thought that I had enough of this, but I actually ha had two little hoglins uh, spawn already, which is really good news. Um, so that's really nice. Let's see. I just want to make sure I'm still in the Crimson Forest. Yeah, we are. And then over here, Crimson Forest. Yeah, good. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't like super precise about, whoa, there they all are. Oh boy. This is kind of bad. There we go. Okay, phew. Oh crap, I forgot about that. <laughs> oh crap, oh crap. I might have to, I might have to, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're gonna go get some new, uh, we're gonna get some fresh resources and I'll be right back. Hopefully if I don't die here. Ah! Okay, I've got some more resources and we are back here. Now the tricky part here is gonna be to get the, um, I should have probably built the drop shoot first actually. Uh, so we're gonna work on that. So what we wanna do is we wanna come down two blocks with glass like this. And I'm just going to, I'm just using glass, not for any particular reason other than because I want to be able to see the little hoglins, hoglins, hog guys, hoggy piggertons, whatever you want to call them, whatever they are. I want to be able to see them. So we're just going to go ahead and go like this all the way around. And then this level that I'm standing on, we need to basically make a two by two hole. I think it's two by two pretty sure over in the corner like this. So one, two, I'm pretty sure it's two by two like that. If it's not, I can change it in a little bit, but there, like that and like that. There we go. That's good. Okay. That's nice. All right. That's good. Very nice. And I'm really super happy that I'm not <laughs> getting bombed by these things at the moment. That's good. All right, so back up to level zero here. Okay, uh, we wanna get some trap doors like this. Okay, like this. You know, I need to make sure it's two by two first before I get too crazy. I am really glad I checked because it is a three by three hole. It's three by three, not two by two. So that's good. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and break this out right here. And then what we need is we need to put in um, some trap doors so that we have a three by three hole here. Because these, these hoglins, you know, they, uh, they just eat too much, uh, they just eat too much and they're a little bit on the uh, plump side. <laughs> they're ready for, uh, you know, harvesting. <laughs> they're all plump. They're all fat and sassy. <laughs> oh, man. 
Oh man, that's funny. Okay, uh, here we go. So then we're gonna come down here. And then I can't believe that glass is gonna be the problem. Glass looks like it's gonna be a problem. Well, yes it is, yes it is, because basically what I need is I need three layers of lava now. So I should have gotten some more glass while I was out, but I forgot. So we need to go get more glass, I guess, which is kind of a bummer, but gotta do what you gotta do. All right, I'm gonna go get some glass and then we will hopefully be able to um, make a working drop shoot. Okay, so I got some more resources, I got a little bit more glass, and I got the lava in place here. So basically what's gonna happen is these little uh, hog guys are gonna come down here, and then they're gonna go in this lava. And what's gonna make them go into the lava is what I'm about to put on the outside here. Um, well, maybe I need to do that in a little bit. But uh, basically, basically what we need to do is we need to take and put in a couple of the uh, warped fungus um, outside of this right there and right there to get them to sort of run into this area because they run away from it and so we need to put it there and there but i went ahead and got some um some of the warp fungus uh stuff and i got some of the netherrack as well so this netherrack basically um what we're going to do is we're going to take it and put it in some of these little spots that i did like this and like that you can't plant warp what? What can you plant the warp fungus on? Ah, ah. I swear you could plant it on netherrack. I swear that you could plant it on netherrack. I think you can plant it in dirt. So hopefully I have some dirt in my inventory. If not, I'm gonna have to make another run back to my base to get some more dirt. Oh my goodness gracious, I get tired of doing that. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, we're get, starting to get a, little, a few piggies to drop down here and what I have to do is figure out where, oh boy, <laughs> that was close. What I have to do is figure out where exactly to put the um, the bottom of this drop chamber. So this is going to be more complicated now that I just fell off of that thing. <laughs> it's very bad. Um, all right, let's see if we can figure this out here. Yeah, and I'm out of glass again, unfortunately. Like, running out of glass seems to be a really frequent thing. I think I'm going to have to steal some. I'm going to have to steal some glass. Okay. Um, yeah, so I thought that I was at 15. So I think that, gosh, I have to land on a single block right now. This is not easy. This is never, ever easy. Um, this stinks. <laughs> This stinks. How am I going to land on that top of that one block? Well, as you can see, they are falling to their death, which is nice. <laughs> That's super nice. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, I'm just going to have to pillar back up there, I think, and then figure it out. Okay, well, there's a lot of snorting going on because I had to make a little bit more progress than I wanted to... Um, off camera because it was getting really tense. I had to build all these columns to try to get up here. But basically what I have done is I've put in the uh, the glass as far down as I had glass and then I just started putting in some full blocks of our, um, whatever the heck that stuff is called, the, the smoothie stone. Uh, because these guys started to spawn, I definitely, if you're gonna make one of these, like definitely make the drop, like shoot part first. <laughs> Don't uh, do, be an, a moron like I was and make the uh, um, <laughs> the part. <for> <laughs> don't make the spawn platforms and then build the thing that's supposed to <laughs> collect the guys. Anyway, I don't know what this little one's doing. Like, the, I got one. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> I don't know how he got there. But anyways, it's working really well. Actually, it's working too well. I was going to build a third layer, and I think I might still... Um, and I probably need to put a few more torches around because I'm getting some piglin spawns. But for the most part, I'm really happy with uh, what's going on so far, except for the fact that I'm getting uh, just a couple of them, the hoglins that is, like landing on this platform. Somehow, and I have no idea how they're getting here. Like, I don't know if there's, if they're glitching through this uh, corner of the glass. I like just don't know. It's kind of weird actually. Like how they're getting there. So 
Um, anyway. Yeah, and the other thing I need to do is I need to work on the... Oh, ooh, boy. <laughs> Sorry, that was so loud. I need to work on... I need to work on... As I'm shouting over the piglins, I need to work on uh, getting more lava in here because too many of them are surviving through the... My goodness. Holy mackerel. Yeah, I need to work on the lava at the top because, yeah, too many of them are getting to the bottom without fully dying. See, if, if they fall through a certain spot in the lava, then they're able to get to the bottom without taking as much flame damage as some of the others, and then they don't die. So, I need to work on that. And uh, I also need to build the, um, the system underneath to collect the drops, because obviously my inventory is nice and full. So, I think I'm going to go do that. I'm going to go grab some more lava and um, try not to die here. <laughs> Well, this is the second death of this particular thing. Uh, just happened to die by a zombified piglin, however the heck that happened. Okay, I got all my stuff back. Yay. <laughs> all right, I'm just going to go up here and put in these hoppers. But uh, the pigmen had other ideas. So I'm going to have to put in some kind of a system that is going to keep us from getting too close to these guys when we go to kill them with a sword. So just got to kind of stand back here and swing away rather than getting too close and personal with these fellers because uh, they're, the, they're not the nicest guys in the world. They're just really not. They're really not that nice. <laughs> Oh boy. Okay, so let's go ahead and put these in. So I put all the hoppers, I put some chests underneath, and I'm just, I'm not even going to bother sorting this stuff. I'm just going to put it in here like this and be done with it. That's kind of been my MO lately, so why change now? Why change now? There we go. Okay, there we go. And there we go. All right, now we can get all their drops. That's great. Look at that. That's wonderful. Okay. Um, I did have four glass blocks that I was going to use on the front right here. So what I better do is put them in my offhand and then go quickly and replace these. That way you can kind of see what's going on in there. All right. And as I get some more glass, I'm going to replace more of this. But that's looking pretty good. That's looking pretty good. I'm, I'm pretty happy about it. Uh, the only other thing that I'd like to put in here is like a ladder so you can get from one level to the other. I think that that's going to be important uh, to be able to do that. So I'm not exactly sure where I want to put that ladder, though. All right, I'm back, and I've got a decent bit of lava to hopefully fix this thing. So what I need to do is place some right there and one right there in the corner. There we go. And then it would be nice to put one, I think it needs one in that corner. No. Here? Maybe. <laughs> I don't really know. But I have quite a bit of it, so I'm just going to uh, put some in down as far as I can reach. And hopefully that will kind of help solve our lava problems. Can't really get it in the middle, but... I'm not too worried about it. The biggest thing that I was worried about was this corner. And that corner is now uh, lava full, so that's good. So that should be the amount that we need to kill our little uh, little Goombas as they come down. And there we go. Okay. That helps, and every little bit helps, right? There, baby? No, I don't know. I don't know, maybe we'll just save these two for some future project or something. But that's pretty good. All right, so now I just have to get out of this hole, and then what I'd like to do is continue building the upper structure here. Uh, I'd like to get at least one more ring going around. Uh, I think that that would help out with rates a little bit, get a little few more drops, but let's see how they're dying now. That sounded uh, favorable. All right. Come on. There they go. Here they come. Here come the piggies. There we go. All right, bang. And... Why aren't you dying? 
There we go. That one's dead. This little one should die soon. There we go. Okay. That's good. Ooh, we got a bunch of them. Okay. Yeah, that's good. They seem to be dying better now. So I'm pretty happy about this. All right, next I'm going to go ahead and work on that ring up there. Oh, this one lived, though. Shoot. Here we go! Okay, so after that time lapse, we now have a three-ringed um, spawning platform that seems to be working really well. And then um, I added one more layer to the lava there. I also fixed up this area and did some um, aesthetic stuff and some safety stuff. So what I did is I put glass all the way around this uh, platform here. And then I made glass like this so that you can see this. Um, I also made it so that I took off one layer of the slabs down here. And then right here what we have is we have a little spot where you can stand a little bit lower and then crouch and then you can hit the, uh, the little Goombas down here. And things seem to be working really, really nicely actually. So um, I'm pretty happy about it. I'm pretty stinking gosh darn happy about it. I think it's working really well, really nicely. And yeah, uh, one, a couple other things that I did is I um, completed this bottom area. I put glass all the way around down here and um, I put an ender chest right here, the crafting table right there. And then, yeah, so then I also put this little sign right here that tells you where the nether hub is to back that away. And I think that we're good to go on this, uh, on this farm. I'm really, really pleased with it. I'm really pleased with it. I think I need to take that one off. Yeah. So this one right here, that's where you stand. And the reason I put a torch on there is because it is actually a spawnable block. So then now that there's a torch on there, nothing gets spawned there. So you're safe to just stand here and uh, hit these guys as they fall. And uh, yeah, they seem to be dying pretty well, actually, after falling. So um, yeah, it's working pretty well. I don't know. I actually wanted them to die a little bit less easily. So... 
I don't know. They were dying like, like they weren't dying, and then now they're dying too easily. So I don't really know what's going on. But we have a working farm, and we have a lot of leather, which is really good, and that is the purpose of this farm. And I'm actually going to grab this, uh, a lot of this leather, just so that I have it in my inventory, so that next um, episode we have plenty of leather, and we can do some more armor statues, which I think is going to be a lot of fun. So, here we go. Grab a bunch of that. That should be a decent amount to get going. And then, I did not, let's see, I don't think I have... Did I bring a leather box? Yeah, I did. Right here. Sweet. Okay, we're going to go ahead and put that in here. And now we have a lot of leather. That's great. That's great. That'll, that'll tide me over for quite a while, actually, I think. Um, however, it does take a decent amount of leather to make um, every single piece of the... Uh, of, like, an armor. So, yeah. There we go. Okay. Got our pork chops. And we are good to go. We are good to go. I think that this is a completed build. I'm really happy with how this turned out because, um, usually, I don't, uh, complete things all the way. So, this one is 100% done, and I'm very, very happy with it. And it's a nice little working farm as I randomly somehow fly... <laughs> Underneath there. Yeah. Hey, buddy. What you doing? Uh, there's one little flaw with this farm. If you don't put something behind the blocks every now and then, a baby hoglin will fall off of the back side of each layer. Um, so if you don't like that, you might want to put fence or some glass blocks just to prevent them from um, falling off the back of the layer. But, yeah, for the most part, it's working really great, and I'm really happy with it. Just sit here AFK and collect leather. It's nice. Well, guys and gals, this has been Hex. I hope you've enjoyed this episode on the Blockhead server. Um, I hope that you uh, got some ideas about how to build this uh, hoglin farm and uh, do some different stuff. But uh, anyway, more importantly, I hope you're having an amazing, awesome, beautiful day. And God bless.